Okay. We're going to just go into a quick rapid fire round. Um, so what's one thing that people don't know about you? Uh, I am a brilliant cook. Yeah, okay, what's, that, your, what's your favorite thing, dish to which, make? Uh, I, I prepare a lot of biryanis because I love uh, rice. So on, on off days when I, when, when Devisha feels uh, she wants to eat something different. So I try and cook biryanis or uh, I can even make paneer makhni, chicken makhni, something like that. So I love cooking, but that comes only once or twice in three, four weeks. Okay. Kept, What's your... kept that thing unique. Yeah. What's your favorite song to sing during karaoke? Oh, during karaoke, there are a lot of songs, but I try and stick to old songs. Old songs, yeah. Old, old songs, yeah. Uh, I, I try and uh, stick to old songs. So I like Zindagi, Ek Safar, Hai Suhana, something like that. So I try and stick to old songs most of the times if, if, if I'm doing karaoke. Yeah. Um, tattoos or cars? If you had to choose only one, tattoos or cars? I know you like them cars. both. Okay. Yeah, I love them both, <laughs> but yeah, cars. Okay. What was the last dream that Easy. you remember? I know he's Sorry? been... I said, what yeah, was the Easy. last dream that you remember? Last thing. <laughs> last dream. Mm -hmm. Last dream um, I saw was playing for my country and uh, walking into bat and winning the game for them. Well, I hope that dream becomes a reality very soon as well. Thanks. Now, what's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? Uh, I always wanted to uh, actually do uh, skydiving and bungee jumping, uh, but never got an opportunity. Uh, but yeah, I have, I have actually sat in a roller coaster in Abu Dhabi, okay. which people say is the fastest, uh, yeah, the fastest roller one, coaster yeah. in the world. Yeah. That too in the front seat, For, yeah. uh, which I was always scared of. But yeah, it was fun. I really like it. Yeah. Ferrari world, yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, okay. So now the last portion of it is have you ever? So basically, I'm going to ask you something and you're going to tell me if you've ever done it. So pranked a cricketer. Just yes or no? No, you have to tell me. So one <laughs> pranked a cricketer, yes or no? And then give me your best one if you've done it so. Yeah, I think, yes, we have done during our domestic tournaments. Uh, uh, we, we, I don't want to name the player, uh, but yeah, we took a lot of, uh, uh, toothpaste, uh, and put it in his pants. So the next, next day he used to sleep deep. We, we knew that when he sleeps, he won't get up until or unless there's a, there's any natural calamity or there's a big earthquake or something like that. So yeah, that was one thing we, we were planning from a long time and it, it came out really nice. Okay. Um, stopped another cricketer on Instagram. Yeah, I, I, I do. I mean, I like, uh, I like looking at the posts of all the cricketers. It's not one, one or two, everyone. Everyone. And, and I'm sure everyone would be doing that. What other players yeah. are doing, what other cricketers, what other sports personalities uh, do of the field. So yeah, on Instagram, I do that whenever I'm free. Okay. Forgotten to pack anything while going on tour? Out of 10 times, 10 times I forget <laughs> at least one thing. So it will be if I reach the airport and I start thinking, there's always a checklist which I try and make before packing the bags. But still, after reaching the airport or maybe after reaching the destination where we, where we are going to play the next game, yeah. that time I always always miss a few things one or two hundred percent okay so you know you can be a little bit forgetful with items has it ever been a problem with your kit though have you ever forgotten things with uh, no kit, like that is one kit? thing yeah <laughs> that is one thing which i have uh, never messed with okay yeah, because uh, when i'm packing my kit bag uh, i don't want anyone around yeah. i try and check things things about three to four times even if I have packed it, even before leaving for the airport for any tour, I, I check my kit bag about max, if you say 10 times also, that is less. I don't like okay. uh, missing anything from my kit bag. 
I yeah, might miss a clothes, least... a training clothes, or training shoes, anything, but no, nothing from the kid bag. Yep, at least the priorities there, so that's good. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, have you ever gotten trapped in an elevator? Ah, uh, not really. Um, till date, never. Okay, most of the times I try and use stairs. Okay. Most of the times I try and use stairs, but uh, till date, I don't remember nothing. Never, never. Okay. Um, and then the last question: Have you ever Googled yourself? Many times. Okay. Uh, even uh, after after you do a, a good show on the field, you come back, you see a lot of uh, uh, articles uh, mm -hmm. in your name. So I wait for a day when those articles come out. I like reading it. It gives me, uh, yeah, I become happy as well. And at the same time, it uh, helps me. It it motivates me that if you do the same thing again. uh in the coming games there'll be more articles coming uh, with your name so yeah most yeah. of the times when i'm doing well uh, and even even if if i'm not doing well i try and google myself read small small uh, negative points as well that that also yeah. helps me uh mm -hmm. moving forward so yeah i i like doing that yeah and this uh, this season i mean in the past as well but this season you know there were quite a few moments where you became like a media sensation you know and especially i want to ask because i know sajan sir has been an idol so you know seeing him whenever he does tweet about you how does that feel it feels really great and uh, uh, he has been in constant touch with me during during ipl and also uh, when we are not playing any any sport as well that time also whenever he meets during practice sessions mm -hmm. his ideas and his words have always motivated me and most importantly during the tournament when i was getting runs he was he was always there he was the first to a uh, text message me and he always say, he he used to say only one thing uh, if you stay sincere uh, with this sport and uh, just enjoy what you are doing uh, cricket will look after you uh, in in uh, coming years so just stay true to this sport and uh, don't take any shortcuts and uh, just completely dedicate yourself and uh, do the same things what you have been doing so it really helps me and has motivated me a lot because i remember since 2011 uh, uh, when i was in mumbai indians i used to uh, look up to him and uh, try and uh, sit next to him uh, in the dressing room so that i can see what he does when he comes in the dressing room what he does on the ground so yeah it was it was really nice and it has helped me a lot yeah Well, that was you know a really special moment to share as well but i really want to yeah. thank you for you know giving me this time and being able to you know have this get a lot of like even i've had so many questions i wanted to ask so i got to do that as well <laughs> thank you so much it was really nice talking to you thank you and i really really hope to see you soon you know playing for india because i know how much it means for you how much it means for your father as well so i really hope that happens soon and thanks again Thank you thank you so much Roshni thanks bye everyone take care thank you